Hi there, it's David from Lumacrest Lighting Solutions. In this video we're going to talk about something called color rendering. And um, that may sound like a bit of a mysterious term, and, uh, but this video is to introduce you to the idea that there's no such thing as color, which is a very odd idea, but by that I mean is color is not part of an object. This, this green plate is not... It's only a green plate because it reflects green. Um, so if there's no green in your light spectrum, this object will not look green. So I'm going to demonstrate this idea with this colorful painting in a moment. And we're going to put a, an RGB light, uh, a light that can change color in all different kind of spectrum independently, and just kind of demonstrate that. Um, and it's, it's an important thing to wrap your head around. It will really help you understand some of the more abstract concepts around color rendering. Uh, when you really when you really understand that all color is just reflected light Here's something that you probably already know if you have black clothing uh, We have the idea that black absorbs light and white reflects light But think about it a little bit differently black is black because it absorbs light and white is white because it reflects light if that object the black object were to reflect light it wouldn't be a black object anymore. It would be a white object or it might be some other color depending on which frequencies of spectrum it's going to reflect. So if just bear in mind that we see color because of reflected light. If the light is weak, even if it's a white light, if it's weak in a certain area of spectrum, you either won't see that color if, the, if that spectrum is completely missing or you will see it very weakly. And this is the idea of color rendering. So. Let's have a look at this, this uh, painting that I showed before. This is something I, I did a few years ago just for fun. Um, I'm going to take this RGB light bar and I can control the red and the green and the blue independently. And of course you can mix them all together to get something that's kind of white. It's a bluish white. Um, and as well, I'm going to use an actual white LED to fill in the gaps in the spectrum because even with this red, green, and blue fully on, this white is, is not a very complete spectrum. So um, in a moment, we're just going to take some close-up shots of this painting and play around with the RGB lights so that we can see what the effect is. So now if I just turn up the red LED, this is what you see. All the blue parts have turned basically gray, but the red is uh, vibrant and the yellow areas as well. Now, if I turn down the red and I bring up the blue, the blue jumps out, uh, but all the red areas suddenly become muted and almost grayish. Um, now I can turn that down and bring in just the green. Um, and when I bring them all on, red, green, and blue, just fade them all on together, you see that basically the painting begins to look normal again, and it gives you the sense that you're seeing all of the colors. Actually, we're not seeing all of the colors, uh, but the painting does look more normal. It's because R, G, and B, um, they give you white, but they don't give you a perfect white, so we need to have uh, the rest of the spectrum in there. And so now, if we begin to fade in the white LED, we can see we fill in the gaps of the spectrum and the painting becomes even more complete and vibrant. So this little demo shows you how the spectrum of light in this rather extreme exaggerated example will affect what we see and the colors that we see. And hopefully it demonstrates how important it is to have the complete spectrum of light when you have colorful objects. Otherwise you won't see the colors properly or in extreme cases at all. Now, we started out talking about color rendering and now the question becomes, how do we know how, how good is our light source at color rendering? What, what kind of number, what kind of value, how, how can we figure out what that is? Well, luckily we have this thing called CRI, which is the Color Rendering Index. And CRI is something that was created um, by um, a French organization called the CIE, um, which is the Worldwide Authority on Color. Uh, so CRI is the adopted standard to talk about how accurately a light source will show its colors. 
Unfortunately, CRI itself as a metric has some shortcomings, um, but it's the only officially uh, adopted standard right now. So in another video, I'm going to talk about CRI, how it's calculated, what it means, and what it means to you. To learn more about our product line and more information about LED lighting and the applications, please visit our website at lumacrest.com and uh, give us a call. We are very happy to help you with your LED lighting and answer any of your questions.